Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, today is the next video in my whole collection series that I'm doing. So the first one I did was my pinks, now I'm doing my reds. So I'm doing my whole collection by drawer, how I store them in my Helmers, and since I store them in rainbow order, that's how we're doing the videos. So reds, I forgot to say in the first video, the pinks, these are just all of the ones that I've already worn. I have other polish, I have separate drawers for my untried polishes that I haven't worn. And I also have like a separate place where I keep polishes that I haven't swatched yet. So there might be more polishes in those drawers, which you'll see later when I get to that part of the series. So these are just the ones, once I've worn them, they then go into the regular colored drawers. So these are all the reds that I've worn. I said the first one I have is KB Shimmer such a Vlad ass. This one is so nice. This one is such a unique red. It's it's not it's not quite like it's not a true red. It's not quite a cranberry red or a berry red. It's like in between and it always shows up darker than it looks in the bottle. And this one's really nice. I like to wear this um, in the fall and I usually end up wearing this on the toes. This is really nice around like the holiday time for something a little different. It's not just your classic red. Okay, and another thing I forgot to say is that red is my favorite color. If you know, if you've been watching me for a while, I always say red is my favorite color, but it's one of my least owned color because I'm very picky about my reds. A lot of reds lean pink, they lean orange, and I love a true red. So I don't have a ton of red, even though visually it's my favorite color. Same with clothes. I don't have a ton of red shirts, but I love red. Anyways, next one is Sinful Colors Shine Annie. This is a really pretty red. It's got, um, I'm trying to see if it's pink. It looks like it's silver and pink shimmers. This is really pretty. This one's got kind of like a squishy jelly formula. Then we have Glam Polish Say Hello to My Little Friend. I just did a twin with Nicole with this, a friendship for the twin. It's like a blackened jelly and it's got tons of red glitter. Really pretty, I like that one. Okay, then we have J Rain Grease Grease. I got this one. This one I got in a D stash. Look how pretty that is. This one is like a pinky red jelly, and I believe I wore this over a red cream, and it was just beautiful. Look at those pretty glowing flakes. Really pretty. Okay, then we have Zoya's Demetria. I don't remember how I feel about this one. It's not quite a true red, but it is leaning more red than it is pink. I don't remember how I feel about this one. I'm pretty sure I probably wore this on my toes. Okay, and then we have Zoya's Burke. This one's really nice. It's like a, like a cranberry red, I guess, like a cranberry berry. It's like in between a cranberry and like a berry red, although cranberries are berries, so there's that. But really nice. I've worn this one several times. I like that one. Okay, then we have KL Ace. This is one of my favorite red creams. So beautiful. This is, to me, a true red. It's like a bright blue base red, which is how I love my reds. So pretty. Okay, then we have Fireball. Orly's Fireball, one of my very favorite Orly's, one of my favorite reds. I love this one. This one is like a bright neon red. Not like a red red. And it's not quite, a, it's not a pinky red either, but it's got a pink flash in it. So it pulls more like a pinky red, but I love this. This one is just so pretty. I don't know if you can see, cause I had it upside down, but that's the wear line. I've worn this so many times over the years. I love this on my nails, I love this on my toenails. I typically wear this on my nails though. I just love it. And it's so bright and fun. I'm gonna have Glam Polish Crucio. Love this one. There's like a deep, almost like an ox blood red. It's got tons of glitter. So pretty. Okay, then we have KB Shimmer's Free Fallen. So beautiful. Love this red shifting flaky polish. So, so pretty. Now I bought this one. This was actually an accident. I was meaning to buy their red flaky topper. Let me see. I think it might be in a, oh, it's in with my glitters. They're flaky topper. This one is opaque and I meant to buy the topper. And when this came in the mail and I swatched it, I was like, I'm confused. 
And then I ended up actually going back and making another purchase just for the flaky taco because the, fla the red and yellow and gold flaky topper is amazing. This one is beautiful too. This one is opaque. It's like a jelly. It's got a jelly formula, three thin coats. Really, really beautiful for the fall. Okay, then we have CBL Colors by Laroe. Rebellion, I got this one in a D stash. This one's like a cranberry red. I believe I wore this over a red cream. I think I wore this um, in December. I have Polish for Days, Long Live the King. This is so beautiful. This is a bright orangey red. So pretty, all those flake, glowing flakes. I've worn this on its own and it's so bright and glowy, but it's like an orange, it's like an orange red. And I've worn this over red undies and this was amazing over red undies. I will go through my Instagram to find that picture and I'll share them both. But look at that, this is just, ugh. they brought this back for Rewind Month. Last year maybe, what year was this? 2019, so they brought it back in 2020 for Rewind. Okay, then we have Bluebird Lacquer, Not All Heroes Wear Capes. This is from June 2021. Look at that, so pretty. It's a beautiful red hollow. I really like this one. I wore this one with Ryan, the Ryan King for Christmas, one of my Christmas manis this past December. This is Island P Eclipse, one of the first black and red duochromes. Really pretty. Not in love with this polish but I will hold on to it. It is a special polish, I just didn't love it. Can they have Zoya's Amal? Beautiful, this is one of their, um, it's not, is this one satin? No, matte, yeah, matte. This is one of their matte. I changed the cap, that's why I get confused. Um, I swapped out the cap, so it's not a matte cap. So pretty. These, when they're matte, are beautiful. And then when you wear a glossy top coat over them, the shimmers in them just sparkle so much. This was so beautiful. I wore this one with their green one, um, Honor. I have two. One is Honor, and the other one, I forget the name, and I forget which one I wore this with, but they're so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, then we have Believes Rogue Veritable. So pretty. Look at that. Okay, and then one of my favorite reds, OPI Big Apple Red. This one and Ace, these are just my go-to red creams. Love these. I use this anytime I interchange them. Anytime I need red undies, this is what I have. This is what I wear. Okay, then we have Zoya's Jade. This is a really pretty red sparkly um, jelly. It's like a, a sheer jelly. So this one definitely needs red undies. This over like this, so beautiful. Okay, then we have She Likes My Spark by Never Enough. Got this one from Nicole. Look at that, that's pretty. Then we have Nine Zero Volcanic. Pretty red with gold shimmers. Okay, then we have OPI. I'm really an actress. I did a twin with Barb when we actually met up in December and we both wore this and then we did like a twinsy in person. It was fun. This is red, but it's not quite red red. It's leaning slightly pink. I mean, it's definitely, you can tell it's red, but it's a little more pinky red. Not bad, really beautiful. The sparkle on this is beautiful. Next time I wear this, I think I will wear red undies though, just to make it a little more red, red. Okay, then we have Jackie O, oh, You So Gorgeous, You So Gorgeous by Dosh Polish. This was a custom polish I had her make for me. It's a red jelly, and then it's got beautiful pink glowing flakes. I wore this on its own, and then I wore this over red to make it really pop, and it was beautiful. Okay, and then we have Colors of Carol, Slappy's Tie. This is so Beautiful, but this stains like a mother beep. This stains like nothing else I've ever seen. <laughs> I wore two coats of base coat with this and it still stained my cuticles and my nails. But this is so, so pretty. 
everyone talks about this one. This is like a cult classic nowadays. Okay, then we have Night Owl Lacquer, Blood of a Wendigo. This is like an oxblood red jelly, so pretty. The formula on this is beautiful. It's definitely leaning more oxblood. It's not like a true red, it's more oxblood. So pretty though. Their flakies are just amazing. Okay, then we have Wildfire Lacquer Cherry Smasher, one of my very favorite reds. I love this. I've worn this multiple, multiple times. Got this one from Polish Pickup, June 2020. This is a must have in my collection. I will never get rid of this. So beautiful, look at that. My God, it's so beautiful. Love, love, love that polish. Okay, then we have Quiotic Polish Garbage Candy. Is that name so funny? <laughs> this is, it's red, but it's got like a tinge pink. It's so pretty and it's got that beautiful green flash and little glowing flakes. Really, really pretty. I love the name Garbage Candy, it's so funny. Okay, then we have Zoya's India. This one's really pretty. This is one of their like gold glass flex shimmer polishes that they have. They haven't done it in a long time, but they used to have they used to make a bunch of polishes where they put that gold shimmer in it. So pretty. This one's like a it's like a maroony brownish red. Really beautiful in the fall. I wore this. Oh, what did I wear over it? I wore some kind of like I wore this as undies. Or something I can't remember but it was beautiful absolutely loved it some kind of like gold flaky topper I believe so pretty okay then we have Zoya's Cola now this polish first of all really pretty it's like a, a brown red and it's like a jelly-ish almost I decluttered this a couple years ago and then I was getting rid of some of I had my bag that I was decluttering and this was rolling around on the bottom. It was one of those polishes that I hadn't gotten rid of yet, but it was still just sitting in my declutter bag. And I pulled it out and I wore it and I did a combo with this. I can't remember what I did. I think I did some kind of like, I wanna say it was like polish, polishes gold flakes maybe, like Goldsmith, something like that. And it just blew me away. I loved the Manny so much. So I ended up undecluttering this and I won't get rid of it. So, so pretty. The reason I got rid of it is because it leans brown. I don't really love browns, but I'm kind of slowly getting into browns again, or not again, but in general. Okay, then we have Zoya Suki. I got this one when I did my favorite reds video last year when I did the series, my favorite from each color category. And I was talking about reds and how they're all too pink, they're too orange, and I, had, and I asked for suggestions, and a lot of people suggested Suki. This polish is amazing i wore this i did a twin with barb this was almost one coat i did two so pretty it's a true red it's glossy amazing for me i absolutely love this so thank you to everyone that recommended suki to me because i love it okay then we have hannah which is another one that's supposed to be red but for me it wasn't quite they look i mean on camera it looks red but in person, something about this is just slightly not the blue base red that I love. But I mean, to a normal person, yes, this is red. And it is red, but I like Suki a little bit better. Beautiful former on this, Hannah. Okay, and in, um, just a fun fact, my sister's name is Hannah, my younger sister. Okay, we have KB Shimmer Solar Flare. This is so pretty. This is a magnetic polish and it's beautiful. So pretty. Okay, then we have Quiotic Red Ivy. Really pretty red jelly flaky polish. Pretty sure I wore this in a Skittle Manny. Then we have Zoya's Blaze. This is a classic. It's like a cranberry red. So pretty. Love this one. I did, I want to say it was in December. Um, my five, five fabulous friends, the five of us, we did a, one of our prompts for Twin Manny, a group Twin Manny was cranberry and I wore Burke and then I wore Blaze over it. And this was really, really beautiful. I love that. Okay, then we have Branding Iron by China Glaze. I very rarely ever wear this, but it is a really nice, deep, um, it's not maroon, it's not quite oxblood. It's like in between a maroon and oxblood maybe. Really pretty, 
I just don't tend to reach for these kind of, it's not quite, it's not foiled and it's not quite, um, what is that, metallic? It's not quite metallic, but it's like leaning towards metallic. And I just, I don't love it, but when I use this as undies for like other glitters and stuff, it is really nice. Okay, then I have Supernatural Lacquer, Ride It Like You Stole It. Got this one from PPU. I love this polish, it's so pretty. Look at those gorgeous glowing flakes. So, so pretty. Oh, this has like a soft, kind of like jelly formula. So three thin coats. Next time I wear this, I might wear this over, oh, I bet you this would look pretty over cola. Look at that. I should, I'm gonna make a note. I'm gonna wear this over cola. Okay, then we have Ruby Pumps by China Glaze. This is a classic. This is probably my third bottle because um, heavy glitters and goes bad quickly. This is just a cult classic. It's a red jelly base and it's got silver glitters, but the silver, it looks red in the base. It doesn't look silver, it looks red, but when you remove it with, like when you're removing it with cotton ball, you can tell that they're silver glitters and not red. But on the nails, it comes across as red. Look at that. And this is like the original OG sparkly red polish. Okay, then we have Blush Lacquer's Tartan Rose. This is so pretty. This is like a deepened cranberry red. All that beautiful shimmer. Um, yeah, they're like teeny tiny, tiny cut up flakes and it gives it like a really beautiful cohesive shimmer. Okay, then we have Polish Poppy Hill. Love this one, another one of their um, gold flaky polishes. So pretty. It's a bright, fun red. Then we have Dollish Polish Call Me Now. This is from their um, PPU January 20. This one ugh, is so pretty, but the formula is not the best. It's thick, but it's a jelly, so you need three thin coats to really get it opaque, but by then it's really thick and it's just not the best formula. I think I'm gonna thin this out a little bit, chew this out just a little bit. But the color, like the end result is beautiful, but by the time you get to that third thin coat, it gets kind of gloopy and thick and it's not the best. Okay, then we have Cadillac Parade. If you've watched my videos, you already know the story about this. So this is a polish that came around, I wanna say 19, maybe 2019, it might've been 2020. I pass on it. It's a red with these gorgeous blue glitters. I pass on it because at the time I wasn't really into Crelly's I used to be into Crelly's and then I got out of Crelly's and now I'm back into Crelly's. So when this came around, I passed on it because it was a Crelly and I immediately like kicked myself and I was like, you're so stupid. And then it came back for Rewind either the next year or the year after. And I had it in my car. I was like, I have to get it. And then at the last minute I took it out of my car. I'm so stupid. And then I did a swap with Nicole. She didn't know this. She hadn't heard this story before. And she sent this polish to me. <laughs> I love this polish, it's so beautiful. I've already worn it, it's just amazing. And Cadillac's formulas are so good. But look at that, it's just so beautiful. I'm so happy to have this and just, I can't believe Nicole sent this to me. And I finally have this in my life <laughs> and I will never get rid of it. Okay, two more, we have Curly Bits Lazy Beach Day. Got this one years and years ago. Look at that, so pretty. It's like a pinky red, it's definitely not red red, pinky red. It's got all those beautiful glowing flakes. Look at that, so, so pretty. And then the final one we have KB Shimmers Lubu Heels. Uh, this is a polish I had. I love the concept of it, like a black jelly with red glitters. It was never, it used to be one of my favorite reds, but it was never quite red enough for me. Like the red didn't, like it didn't pop for me. I ended up decluttering it. And then I, eventually I uncluttered it. It was another one that I found rolling around the bottom of my, of my bag and I uncluttered it. And I wore this over a red, I believe. And it is pretty, but now that I have um, Say Hello to My Little Friends, Say Hello to My Little Friends is what I always wished Lubu Heels would be on the nails that black and jelly with the red glitters that really pop. So I might declutter this again because I have this one now. And this is like Lubu Heels on steroids. 
All right, guys, that was everything. These are all my reds. The next drawer is going to be my yellows and oranges, which I house in the same drawer. So keep an eye out for that video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.